Hello guys, welcome to another video on Healthy Talky YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to learn about save yourself from the terrible ear infection. Before we get started with the video, check the link in the description box below to discover the secret formula we recommend if you want to be free from ear infections. Quick advice, make sure you watch this video to the end to get the most value from it. Let's start with today's video without wasting too much of your time. Ear infections and earaches are common illnesses that affect about 10 million Americans each year. They can cause a lot of pain that makes it hard to pay attention and get things done. So, how can ear infections and earaches be treated? Better yet, what can you do to keep ear infections and earaches from happening in the first place? Here, I'll talk about the most common causes of ear infections and some simple ways that you and your friends can avoid getting them. Who gets ear infections the most? Children are the group most likely to get otitis media, ear infection. By the time they are three years old, three out of every four children have had an earache or an ear infection. Why does it matter that you know this? It's important because you'll be able to spot the signs that your child is getting an ear infection and take care of it before it gets worse. Why do people get earaches? Did you know that you can get an ear infection from swimming or taking a shower? Ear infections happen when water, moisture, and bacteria grow in the inner ear because they can't get out. This buildup in the inner ear irritates the eustachian tube and makes it swell. When the eustachian tube swells, it puts more pressure on the inner ear, which makes us feel pain. Since water and moisture can't drain out of the ear through the nose, the pressure in the ear keeps building up. Unfortunately, an inner ear infection is born. Earaches and ear infections can also be caused by allergies and cleaning your ear with a cotton swab. All of the pressure in the ear causes pain, itching, swelling, and loss of hearing over time. That's when an earache happens, which is painful. Before you get a full-blown earache, you can treat or even stop all of these signs of an ear infection. Stop the pain before it starts. Getting an earache is never fun, which is why you should try to avoid getting one. Did you know that cleaning your nose can make it less likely that you'll get an ear infection? Keeping pollutants and irritants out of the eustachian tube so that water can drain through the throat is the best way to get rid of chronic ear infections and ear pain. Also, the chances of getting an earache or an ear infection go down if you chew gum or do something else that uses your jaw to chew. Aside from these suggestions, there aren't many other ways to get rid of an ear infection. If you already have pain from an ear infection, you should get antibiotics from your doctor. Remember that just because you feel an earache coming on doesn't mean you have to live with the pain. Take the right steps to keep yourself and your kids from getting painful ear infections. Now you know what to do to get rid of the pressure and pain that earaches and ear infections cause for almost 10 million people a year. If you have tried all these tips and still suffering from ear infections, then check out the secret formula we recommend. This is an all-natural supplement that you can use to achieve your desired results and be free. It is easy to take, very effective, and highly recommended. Learn more about our secret formula from the link below this video in the description box and find out how it can help you to get rid of ear infections. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. The videos on your screen right now are also educative and informative, so make sure you watch them too. Leave a healthy life, stay strong.